all the world comes to Farnborough to see what Britain's aircraft industry has to show this year. Some planes, like the V-bombers, have been seen before, but there's great interest in the new Saunders Row 53 fighter with its jet and rocket engines. And talking of rockets, here's the English electric Thunderbird ground-to-air missile, pictures of which were only released a few days before the show. And here's a Bristol rocket motor. All three services have their newest ground-to-air rockets on display. The Navy shows the sea slug. As usual, it's the flying display which takes the spectator's breath away. One of these Canberras uses a rocket booster. A formation of hunters prove that when it comes to drill, anything the guards can do in two dimensions, they can do in three. The Miles Student, a new product of a famous firm that specializes in traders. And that's a hunter, that was. But the English electric P1A can leave it standing, for it's one of the fastest fighters in the world. Just what the new Saunders Row fighter can do is still secret, but its built-in rocket booster is reported to give it an almost incredible performance. Next on parade is a hunter, armed with the Fire Flash air-to-air -air missile, now standard equipment for the RAF and the Royal Navy. Here's the Apro Vulcan, the world's first delta-wing four-jet bomber, which has flown around the speed of sound at more than 50,000 feet. The Fairy Delta II, nicknamed the Droop Snoot, is piloted by Peter Twiss, the man who broke the world airspeed record in her last year. The English Electric P-1 again, a fully supersonic all-weather day and night fighter ordered in quantity for the RAF. And from the same stable, the Canberra, holder of the world altitude record. But when all the fighting planes have shown their paces, the Queen of Civil Aircraft makes her bow, the DH Comet. With her development troubles over, she promises to prove herself the finest airliner in the world. <laughs>